Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 Pro. You can see here this is a Poco X3 Pro custom ROM reviews, and this is a Dub Fest OS latest build available for Poco X3 Pro Bima R YU. You can see the version is 13 Tango. 2023 10.3 and it's an October build and you're getting a 5th October 2023 latest security patch which is a good thing baseband version you can see and the kernel user is 4.14.326 derp kernel has been used Sunday October 1st build this is it's a latest available for Poco X3 Pro this is a typical home screen you get if you want to change home settings this is the launcher you get I can pack if you want to install some of the other applications i mean the icon packs you can do that from here direct themed icons if you want you can do that forced theme icons if you want you can do that now you will get everything will be in themed icons but it's still not working maybe maybe you need to change here yeah now let's see the see this change themed icons yeah now it's available everything in the themed icons just you need to enable here first later you need to go into home settings and select these two options in order to get the themed icons completely in the ROM and other settings you can see some more customizations are available here not some more there are plenty here hidden and protected apps you can get from here dark status bar if you want you can enable from yeah this is typical home screen you also get quick settings panel the automatic brightness toggle will be moved based upon your usage it automatically moves now currently it's on downsides later sometime it will go upwards you can check out in my video and app active status you can see from here in the edit section you get print of options if and you can move or drag into reverse direction this is home skin and also you can see the aqua battery results i'm using that in order to identify the battery life of your smartphone and if you press and hold here you also get to widgets latest widgets everything are given in this particular rom and typical dialer you get me your dialer just uh, you get a direct video call feature i'm using bsnl sim hence i don't get any a direct video call feature it's a 3g sim but you also get a call recording feature it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is in the camera you get a nx camera proper nx camera with uh, leica integration you get you guys can see just download everything more you need to download manually this or automatically it will get download in the portrait mode you get options to increase or decrease the depth of field and photo mode you get these kind of options here tilt shift time burst and google lens is pre-included macro palm shutter wise shutter in the video you get up to 4k 30 fps only you get these kind of options so teleprompter subtitles a camera moving tracking object and those things are given very good you also get a 48 megapixel mode if you want to use any gcam ports you can do that also this is the aqua battery results here coming into some other settings you can see here now i'm going into settings here you get a typical settings panel here and you get a dove space battery settings you can do that clock settings i've been explained this many times you can check out my previous videos and the miscellaneous settings you won't get any options here just logo you can select that position them and even style you can choose from a presets given here and if you swipe like this you get notifications customizations and quick settings customizations are also given there are a lot more you guys can check out that and again if you swipe like this you get a lock screen ui customizations temperature unit and the other things you can see ambient always on display they have mentioned in general settings you just need to enable the unlimited google photo story but not a high fs count in games like bgma will be showing very soon how it handles in bgma this is the customizations available but under the hood if you go into system you get a gestures and swipe to screenshot enable that one handed mode quickly open camera gesture shortcuts has been given uh, if i go into system navigation into gesture navigation there is the option to increase both radius and pill length i mean the gesture bar length again you also get a buttons customizations here you can see on the screen and there is even a xiaomi parts have seen somewhere in the system yeah it's not available as of now multiple users and our first update is given usb configuration you can directly choose from here these are the customizations what i got in the security features you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show that first 
yeah fingerprint unlock is quite fast let me show the face unlock yeah it is also working fine in my opinion as you can see just recognize the face that's how the fastness of the fingerprint unlock and face unlock i really liked it now moving into some of the benchmark results and everything will be checked here you can see the antidote benchmark results is around 6,82,345 and temperature raised was 3.3 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percent during that entire testing of antidote benchmark results 987 is a single score 2824 is the multi score in geekbench score and linux 4.14.326 dub first kernel has been used and 103 tests have been running cpu throttling test you can see the maximum is around 250 and the average is 2 34 and minimum is 200 it's total to 90 percent of its max performance the graph remains green which is very good in my opinion the charging yeah you will get like this indication firstly later you wait certain period of time then it will show charging rapidly full in 48 minutes to order in order to full the eight percent just ignore that but charging rapidly means a lot for many of the users it is supporting high charging i mean the rapid charging support is given in this particular rom and this is the aqua battery results the battery life is quite interesting in this particular rom i really liked it on battery usage you can see battery charge warning is given and battery light customizations are given charging control you can do that from here battery optimization you can again for individual apps you can do that battery widget is also enabled from here battery life is quite good charging speeds are also very good wallpaper and style again you get plenty of options here i already explained about this accessibility menu which is a handy feature is given here yeah just turn it on without actually using the physical buttons of volume you can increase or decrease from here and also brightness up and down you can do some of the other uh, handy features you can do that if you enable this it will be handy feature you should definitely try in this kind of favor sp so i have been kept keep on telling this customizations and again if i go into uh, sound and vibration yeah haptic feedback strength you can adjust from here media and other things you can see noisy notifications and other things you can change from here display settings again you get a refresh rate options dark theme you just enable that it's not in pitch black condition i haven't found any option to do that colors option these things has been given tap to wake prince lagged up tap to sleep and tap to wake are given additional display features don't just touch this out if you touch that and play a game like vgma it will heat up a lot in my opinion this is all the results and benchmark results and the settings given here here in the settings that was showing previously uh sound direct sound setting just missing in this particular rom this is how the dark first show is guys let's see bgma what are the graphic settings and how it handles in this poco x3 offer using the dark first rom here you will get a little bit of disappointment but not that much you can see only smooth plus extreme is given here there is no 90 fps option has been enabled here but you can do that using the uh, magic model but still 60 fps is more than enough in my opinion for casual users but if you want something advanced gameplay then you can try 90 fps too but as of now it's very good very smooth here and you can see here this how it looks like yeah go back to results you get like this let's see will i get at least a kill or not yeah gameplay is smooth here nothing bad or anything like that just it's not getting focused and i'm sitting in different position little bit difficult for me to showcase the actual gameplay and you need to check for a better battery life then you need to check different roms this is not a battery efficient rom but still you get a very good battery life here it's an all-round rom you can say and with october security patch this is the one available right now and if you are in previous version if you want to use the new one you can flash this rom it's really really good i also show the safety status and other things stay tuned till the end of the day and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys you can see here the gameplay is smooth here just we are missing 90 fps but anyhow i'll come out here and this is settings panel and drm information again let me show that 
you get a level one certified hence you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's fine fm radio is installed by default you won't get any files manager pre-installed just install this one or any other file manager whatever you want and this is the safety and status basic integrity and uh, cities profile match gets passed here you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay all are going to work fine in this rom there are no such issues i really like the anx camera integration with like a integrated one and benchmark results and everything are great here you can see android benchmark app opening times could have been better but still it's okay you can see and ram management is also fine in this particular rom no problem but you only get three to two to three games in memory more than that it will not in the memory this how the uh the show is i think i explained everything if i forget to mention anything in this rom you can check out i mean you can check out groups available whatsapp groups dedicated group is available for poco x yu or bima this is how the review based on uh the first tango 13 version based on android 13 it is with october 5th security patch uh that's it guys in this video if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my video channel let that subscribe button we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now